Hello guys, and what's up? It's your number one teenage commentator, Silent Skill here. And as you could tell by the title, no, I did not have sex with a teacher. Don't worry. No, this is not about me. But I actually got a message in my inbox um, about something rather serious that I kind of wanted to address. And it may apply to you guys, it may not. Some guy sent me a message saying, look, I have a teacher who is very hot and she has multiple times I and he's in high school by the way this is a kid in high school his teacher said multiple times that he she wanted to have sex with him and I read this message and I don't know if you're being serious or not and say you are I think I have to address this first of all you said you were in high school this means you're a student you know, every part of me wants to say, yeah, yeah, dude, go ahead, do it. That's awesome. But it's wrong. In my book, it's wrong. Don't do this. Now, say you are 18 years old. Say you're 18. What the way to go about this, if you really like her, is to have a relationship with her. Only if you're 18. If you're under 18, you just can't do it. Okay? And like I said, if you're 18, have a relationship with her, okay? You know, it's up to you though, you know? Um, and I can't stop you from doing this. No one can stop you from doing this. But no, if you do do this, you can't tell a single soul. Nobody can know about this. You can't tell your friend that you've known since kindergarten about this. You can't tell a single soul because one single soul cannot keep a secret. It's plain and simple. It sucks, but it's the truth of the matter. You need to be careful with this. If you are underage and she has sex with you, or you have sex with her, she then becomes a registered sex offender. And I actually looked it up, and to be a registered sex offender, it looks like you have to move away, so you have to move. You, you can't live where you currently live. You have to move away, and after you move away, say you move into an apartment complex, you have to go around knocking on everybody's door saying you're a sex offender. You're a registered sex offender. Imagine that, okay? So you do this with her. She can't get a job the rest of her life is ruined, but she knows this. And if this is true and she's asking you for this, she's already in the wrong. Okay? You tell her, this is not right. You are a teacher. I am a student. You should not be doing this. We cannot do this. This is wrong. And if she tries to do it again, really what I would say is you got to look for adult guidance. Okay? This is not right. You know, as much as I would want to say, yeah, do it, I can't. And I don't know if you become a sex offender if that happens, but if you do, no one's going to hire you. Life is going to be so much harder. You know, you're not going to be able to get a job. But like I said, no one, I can't stop you from doing this. I can't. I simply can't. And if you do... And you make the decision to do it, you can't tell anybody. You can't tell a single soul, man. This is a very hard and touchy subject. But to be honest, what I would go with is don't do it. Just don't do it, man. It, it's not worth what's going to come out of this. So um, it's up to you, though. You know. So if you're 18, have a relationship with her. Don't do it the, this way. It's not right. And she is a teacher. What she is doing is completely wrong. So don't think you're in the wrong at all. And I know what it's like to be a teenager. I know you can't control yourself. Just keep it in your pants for once, man. Just keep it in your pants, okay? So that's all I could say on the issue. Uh, like I said, just a touchy subject. And guys, don't feel hesitant to send me messages like this. I don't mind. And like I said, if I can't answer them, I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. Okay? So if I can't completely answer them, just know that at least try before you go out and do something stupid. And if not me, ask an adult or an adult figure or something like that.
forward. So, all right. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later, and that's it for today. Don't don't forget to leave a like. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. And remember, if you follow me on Twitter, you get to recommend what I should do for the next video. Uh, you get to be a part of everything. And you that's the best way to contact me. So you could stay in contact with me if you uh, get on there. So that's just to let you know. That offer is there for you if you want it. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Peace. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Fuck all that shit, just let me